What is up, Epic Gamers? 223 Frank the Tank here, and it's been a really long time since I played Stormworks, and I want to show this really, really cool VTOL creation, the Hubro C70 made by Lorgs. Oh my god, it is massive. As you can see, it takes up the entire construction area in the hangar. Really impressive that he basically fit it within the stock dimensions, so you don't really need to modify anything. You just basically spawn it and check this out. And by the way, it's probably gonna lag. It's lagging on my computer. <laughs> check it out. So obviously, if it's the size of the hangar, you'd be like, how am I supposed to get this thing out of here, right? But look, it's moving on its own. This thing basically <laughs> has a program or some Lua built in that tells it to roll out and then hit the brakes perfectly once it's out of the hangar. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> so, we're gonna check it out, do a little interior tour and show you guys how it flies, but I don't wanna labor too much on it because it really is gonna be laggy and I don't want you guys to not enjoy the gameplay if it's super laggy. So, I mean, right now it's manageable, but once you get like all 50 of those jet engines on it's like impossible so we get this open ramp really awesome use of lights little strobe lights which is really awesome to see and then obviously we close it like this it looks so awesome and look at all this cargo space over here so we'll start down here there's floor hatches and such we got refueling over here I don't know this little area up here is just kind of nothing I haven't jumped back there or anything. So we've got these hatches you could open, drop these rescue buoys, buoys. This floor hatch opens and you could, you know, pick up containers and bring them inside. And uh, so let's go through here. Open it. I mean, this is like a floating base. You got your status on your batteries. Got a little med bay here, which is marked off. Really awesome. Got some cabins. Got your winter clothing in here. Uh, little storage shelves as you can see everything is marked out really nicely Got the male bathroom because I know the female bathrooms on the other side For any of the female gamers aboard the ship. I Mean honestly this thing is like a spaceship, but it stays on the earth. It's really awesome So you've got all your equipment you can actually swap to your parachute I'm not jumping out and we've got the bridge, but we're going to leave the bridge for later, right? So let's just walk around now. This cool, cool ship. This VTOL station. This VTOL base, honestly. You've got an entire, like, kitchen and galley area. Really awesome looking. And then that just goes back down to the other side. And we've got more cabins, which are basically all the same. You've got a gym. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, if you gotta get fit. Now, you might be wondering, this thing must need a ton of fuel to be, you know, powering like 50 VTOL engines and staying, you know, in the air. This thing holds 600,000 something uh, units of fuel, whatever the unit in game is. I don't know if it's liters, pounds, or, you know, gallons, whatever. And this is the cool part over here. You know, we got little windows on the side, you know, standard stuff. This is a little escape pod you can get into. And then uh, we're back to the other area of the kitchen. You know, get the stairs and whatnot, right? But check this out. So let me go back to where I was here. Hubro, ooh, Hubro E11 docking. So the E11 is a different ship, right? Now look, you may be wondering, well, what, what am I gonna do in this room? I believe this is it. Open roof. Check it out. Ignore me <laughs> floating around. How cool is that? You could dock another ship inside of here. So you got another one here. Oh, it's so awesome. And you can see down into the cargo hold. Anyways, uh, that was the majority of the ship. And then obviously you've got your roof hatches and such. And different little hatches everywhere. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes, which is the bridge. So boom, this is where the action happens. This is where 
the command takes place. You got seats everywhere with tables. You got all your monitors. So this is the navigator seat. Obviously we can't fly from here, but we can power everything. So we need to power to all. Da, da. Okay. So just leave that running like that. And then here we go. Well, this is where it's gonna get a little bit laggy. <laughs> Oh, let me check my settings real quick because I know the new HD cameras came out. So I'm about to set that to high. Boom. All right. Are you ready? Because it's about to get really loud. I mean, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> it's going to be really hard for me to talk in a second. Here we go. Here goes nothing. So let's put an altitude hold. We're gonna say a hundred feet for now. Look at that. Oof! Everything is just firing off right now. It's having a little bit of trouble running on my PC. So let's uh and there we go, camera screen. Looking good. Alright. Altitude hold on. Now, obviously, it's not gonna fly until we disable the ground brake. Oh god, I feel like I can't hear anything. All right. So it's not gonna fly until we disable the ground brake. So here we go. Check it out. <laughs> it's just smooth, smooth as butter. It just flies. We've got radar. We got all the information you need. You got your 618,000 pounds or kilos or whatever, a fuel gallons, whatever it may be. You got all the monitors in the world that you may need for information. I mean, this thing is just loaded. So look at that, it's holding precisely about 100. And uh, let's uh, pop a waypoint in. So we wanna go over to here. To the North Harbor. Set a waypoint. Put my my input, my autopilot here. Boom, and it just flies itself. You just sit back and enjoy. And it's got a pretty damn good top speed of about 260 uh, kilometers indicated airspeed. KIAS. So that's really nice. Uh, and yeah, it does basically everything. That, this is just a ship where you put in waypoints and, and obstacle holding. You could fly it uh, without that stuff and it's actually pretty nimble. But uh, for simplicity's sake, I just turn on all the AP stuff and boom, it just takes me right there. And me and my friend, we were testing this in multiplayer. We loaded a pickup truck in the front, in the cargo area, and uh, we dropped it from 100 feet. And uh, it was funny because he built like a, she a Chevy Silverado and you know the, the Chevy commercials, America's most dependable truck, blah, blah, blah. We we're kind of joking about that. We dropped this, this truck out of this thing. And of course it landed perfectly fine without a scratch. And it was kind of funny. Like, wow, we were joking about it, but it actually survived the fall. Let's increase the autopilot to 200 so we could avoid any mountains up ahead. And it's just gonna climb up without an issue. Look at that altitude, just gaining awesome stuff. So yeah, I'm also gonna link this in the description because I definitely think that his work de deserves all the praise it could get. Mr. Lorgs, it's really impressive the kind of work you've done in this game with uh, all of your VTOL creations. Especially this one. I mean, this one is just a feat. I mean, imagine seeing this thing in real life if it existed. It's absolutely massive. So, let's uh, go over here to the little waypoint. You've got your different, you know, hold full speed. you got all sorts of controls up here. You could, you know, run the show from over here if you wanted to. Here we are, approaching the waypoint. And I usually just turn off autopilot, and this thing is stable enough that you could just fly it with the controls, with the WASD up and down, and uh, it's pretty responsive. Obviously, it's a really big craft, so it's not going to be like, you know, a fighter. It's still going to be a little bit laggy, and uh, wow, look at that monitor update. It's really looking great. 
Don't even look in the cargo hold. Wow, that's looking much, much better than it did before. Awesome stuff. Turn that off. And obviously the map shows where you put the waypoint and everything. Showing you all the information you might need. So let's uh, set the altitude to 100. Turn off our autopilot. Look at that shadow on this thing. And uh, we can actually just cut off altitude hold at this point and then I'll just show you how easy this thing is to land. <clears throat> I'm literally just pressing down on the uh, the down arrow and I'm basically just gonna land right, right in this. Actually, let's land in that park a lot here so I can do some maneuvering and show you guys. So use a little W action here and just moves forward without an issue. Stop the movement with the S. Oh, you can see the force that me and my friend Levy or T on YouTube burnt down. Yeah, we kind of messed up and crashed a helicopter in that force and didn't feel like putting out the forest fire because we're horrible people. So we're going to land this thing here. Looks smooth as butter. I mean, could you... Could you even believe that something this big is just kind of maneuvering around without any issues? I wouldn't believe it. It's not my smoothest, I'll admit, but pretty, pretty damn good. So, basically, get up nice and close to the ground, and what you're going to do is just toggle the ground brake, which cuts up, cuts off any vertical thrust. And basically just plants you down on the ground, press 5, boom, and that's it, we're landed, shut off the engines. And uh, we're going to open the front ramp, turn off all this power here. You can see the strobies are strobing around. And um, so I took this thing on the, a trip to the Arctic, and, uh, oh, wrong door. Is this the door? Yeah. I took it on a trip to the Arctic and made it pretty much the entire way there and I had like 55% fuel remaining. And I was carrying a truck inside, so really awesome. And once again, just check out the scale of this thing. Really cool stuff. Anyways, uh, I'd appreciate uh, if you drop a like and a sub. Thank you guys so much for 210 subscribers. Uh, I had a, a, a cinematic uh, done in DCS with the Hornet and due to the song that I used, it got pretty much blocked right as soon as I uploaded. So I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to have to re-edit a new one with maybe different music, but for now, just patiently wait. I know I've been kind of slacking with making videos, but you know, it's tough to find the time, especially being busy with all the DCS stuff and squadron stuff. But I will try and find the time to make more videos. And, you know, it's been long enough since I've done a, uh, a Stormworks video. So, anyways, thank you guys. Thanks for watching if you're stuck out this far. And have a great night.